Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. A very warm welcome from me. If you remember, in the previous session we submitted our news section. Now our news can have its own special category, as you see over here and the user can choose any category that has been set for him. The category is registered for our news. We set the time and date for the news. And uh, what we are going to do in this session is that we are going to do the editing part, which we have promised before. We have already taught you the deleting of the news. Now we want to edit the news that we said. For instance, we want to change the static category to another one. For instance, to Hollywood category. All right. To do so, first I need to write a function and make a page for it. All right. Uh, the first thing uh, is I make a page called news on the line edit dot html we keep it like that for now until we complete it later on we go to the news app that's right here i need to write a special function over here as you see for instance i copy this function over here and like this i set it here and I call it news on the line edit of request type, which get the PK of the news that is to be edited. It receives the PK of the news that we are going to edit. Now we set the function empty. We don't put anything in it and connect the page to news on the line edit. All right, now we need to make our URL let's see url is panel news edit and now the pk which it receives here it would be news underline edit that's right and up there news underline edit as you see has been added all right uh, what we need to do now is in the let's say news list we create a button that's right the edit button and set it uh set it so that it connects to that special function all right i make a copy from this and then i say this needs to connect to news on the line edit <laughs> is that right all right, now I refresh the news list and edit this news right over here. It is now an edit page that has been made, that hasn't been made yet. As you see, there is URL, and that's up to now. Now I can close the extra pages. We are going to deal with view and news add. The first thing that I do is to copy the news add page and set it in the news edit and then edit it there on that page uh, this would be edit news here would be edit panel that's right now as you see news instead of add we say edit and now the value of the pk that we have received we need to send it through the view here we say the first thing that is supposed to be sent let's see going to be sent that's right it is it is received pk it should be sent to template so that i can use it to make my url so that by clicking on this link my url would work okay so that i will be able to use that special url that's my pk here would be edit here as you see is edit now i check my page up to here let's see how it works my page looks like this edit news my edit link sounds all right now what should we do we need to make the edit news page it is exactly similar to app news 
the first thing that we need to do is to show the former values that is I should be able to see the former values here so that I can decide how to edit them that's right and all right so what we do in the view when we have not saved anything and do not intend to edit anything we just make a query we say for instance news equals my app news dot object dot filter based on what pk equals pk and send the news to template that's right okay let's see and now what do we do can you guess yeah there are two methods i have done this using a filter now in order to show the values i need to make a for ring before the first text box to the end i set a for ring and extract the values in my for ring and uh, show them or we can use get and when we use get we are no longer going to need the for ring and we can choose any one of these that you see over here uh, the items such as news.name can be extracted it is better to use the get method uh, so that you know how it works all right now using the get method i have extracted the pk and have sent him now in my form that is my name filled i set it a value its value equals our value equals news dot that's right now i need to check my model so that i don't enter the wrong name i check my news model news <coughs> dot name as you see news dot name my news name has been added here why was i able to use news dot name because i used the get method if i had used a filter i uh, actually would have been forced to go over there and set a full ring around my form and then show the values but because i used the get method i can use it very easily all right And as you see, the placeholders such as here, which is choose a category. All right, uh, here I can. What can I do? Before I correct this section here, I need to send the, the cat query. For instance, from the view here, we need to pick up the cat query, that is. Uh, we need to send the categories as well so that they are shown in the drop down list okay here we need to import this of course uh, we didn't do that uh, we could use subcat subcategory that's right and the subcat that we had added over here can be replayed there we send it to template now i refresh uh, my list over here uh, it has been set now what do i do i get one of these options over here like that I copy them and for instance let's say i say the value that it is sending let me check the model the value should be taken from cat id that is news dot let's say cat id then cat name over here that's right uh, it can be shown here the cat id can be shown over here yep and now let's check this out the category that had formerly been shown for this category showed up that is cat one yeah okay and then i see other categories that i can choose from now i go to my news list i edit football here which shows me football uh, i can see other categories that are available for me as well 
I can choose them or edit them. At first I say send the cat ID that has been saved so that if we didn't change the category when we did the editing, we didn't change the category, the ID of the same category would be sent, the ID that we had saved uh, so that it can be processed and have the same ID. The next section is my short text. Let me check what it is called in the model. Short underline txt, that's what it's called. Yep, uh, here it is. Text uh, read. Uh, we need to add the values in between it. I write news dot short underline txt and for instance I check it again that's right uh, the text that the short text that I had written for test has been set over here the next field body underline txt here uh, text area we need to add between the single ones it has no value here it would be news.body underline text that's right refresh it has been added here and now we need to show the image over here on the right uh, to see which image or what image has been chosen uh, for our news that's right down here there is one uh, let's say there is six party form group and over here we copy this in our form group and replace it with input that's right okay we add an image tag yeah uh, and then we define the src for it is src would be let's say news.pqrf okay it would be news dot pick url let's check it out yeah only the sizes need a little adjustment just like we had in news list with the image yeah okay where we added the image tag what are we going to do we add one a style like that here we do the same add a soil to the image tag we make this as you see over here 150 times 150 let's check the sizes now yeah it's a little too small we can make it bigger say 300 times 300 that's right okay and I guess it looks better now. You see the image of the news. We can use a news image or use the same one again. Okay. And right now I can get the image tag and set it at the center, which doesn't really matter. We can do it. Uh, using CSS or it would be fine to just leave it there like that we wouldn't be needing to change it that is up to you we have prepared the edit page so that now it shows the data that we already have here for instance in the news list I would like to edit the problematic cat uh, it shows me its values and I can edit it